Hello everybody, I am proud to welcome you today to part one of our 12 part summer webinar series here at Tuya Smart, the world's leading IoT cloud platform. My name is Dylan Sutton and I am coming from our Tuya hospitality and residential team. So today will be part one of our separate four part webinar series focusing on Tuya hospitality and residential. In today's show, we're going to give you a brief overview of exactly how our platform works with some quick practical introductions. Then we're going to open up the floor to discuss some key questions that are facing the industry right now. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video for today and then we'll move further on into our questions. Hello everyone and welcome to our introduction for Tuya Residential. Today, we're going to take a look into the difference between a smart home and a Tuya smart residence, as well as a brief run through of our great new platform for the management of smart properties. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Dylan from Tuya Smart and today let's run through what we believe to be the future of smart residential living. I'm sure you've all heard of the concept of smart home by now. These are individual homes in which a number of internet connected devices work with each other to create what is called home automation, which has already made great strides in both simplifying and improving the lives of millions of families worldwide. Tuya has been in the smart home game for over seven years now, with our network of over 300,000 powered by Tuya devices being accessed by homeowners worldwide. However, we've built Tuya Residential as an industry solution for what we believe to be the future of the multi-family rental market. So, what's the difference with a smart home and a smart residence? A smart home is an individual property managed by the owner who centrally controls the smart devices in their home. A smart residence is a multi-family property, such as an apartment block, which is centrally managed as renters come and go. Here, property managers are ever looking to improve the lives of their tenants through providing a technologically enabled experience as well as reducing overall management costs and reducing the burden on staff. Our solution provides an all-encompassing hardware and software solution for the management of smart residential properties. On the hardware side, we tap into our vast network of powered by Tuya devices to help property managers build simple to use and comfortable smart apartments. And the software, our platform comes with three software products for smart residential management. The first is for property managers. This is our smart residential SaaS, which allows for the central management of all the apartments and common areas on the property, as well as tenants who come and go. For tenants, our smart residential app. This is where tenants can control all smart devices in the property, create home automation programs, manage their home security and much, much more. And finally, for maintenance workers, the smart construction app. Here, property managers or tenants create smart work orders for construction and maintenance staff to come and install or repair any smart devices. So now, after that brief run through, let's put this into motion and see exactly how a smart residence looks with our smart mini apartment here. Okay, for our first demonstration here for Smart Residential, let's see how exactly we install some of these wonderful smart devices here. To do so, first we're going to need to create a construction task on the web SaaS. From here, our smart construction worker will be notified that they need to come and install the smart devices that we can see here. So, I received the notification, I arrive, complete the installation, and then once it's done, I submit the task and off I go. Okay, now for another example, let's look at it from the tenant side. Let's see how exactly I can make what we call a smart home energy saving automation.
So now let's take a look at how we manage our smart energy consumption. So let's use two devices here. This is our smart energy meter, which can directly report the energy output of the whole building and the whole property to our smart cloud. This can then work in tune with these, our smart plugs, which also report all the energy output that's coming out of them, which you can view either on the SAS or your home app. Okay, so now let's take a look at creating smart energy saving scenes. So here, I've had to leave my house in a rush to get to work, and I've totally forgot to close the curtains, turn off all the lights and everything else. So, as I go out, I go past the PIR sensor, open the door, leave the house, and now I've set it so that after five minutes of no movement within the house and no movement on the door, everything will turn off. Great, so now we've had a quick practical demo of how this all works, there's one more point I wanted to touch on. We here at Tuya want to empower you to build your own smart residential business, meaning we support you in branding the SaaS and residential app to your own company. This means that your existing tenants get a more personalized experience, but perhaps more interestingly, this opens up a new opportunity to offer this as your own smart residential solution that can be sold to your future clients. So that's a wrap for today. I hope you all enjoyed this brief look into the future of smart residential living, and I'm excited to keep showing you more in the future. So we'll see you next time. So without any further ado, let's just come and have dive in into some of the issues that we're facing today. So the first question we're going to talk about today is why should I upgrade to smart, which is kind of at the core of what we do here at Tuya, and it's what we really believe in. So when we look at smart technology in a residential setting, there's some kind of key outlines and key benefits that we see. The first one is a benefit towards operating efficiencies. These are pretty standard and it kind of hits two main sources of cost that hit residential businesses which are the productivity for staff and the reductions in overall utility costs for a building. Then of course, there's damage reduction and avoidance, which we aim to address using a number of smart sensors, such as water and leak sensors, which cause huge, huge problems for smart residential businesses and standard businesses worldwide. Sure, and then we look at ancillary revenue as well. So what I mean by this, this is how much value can going smart deliver to the tenants in the building? And then for a business owner, how can you increase the rent to adjust to this and deliver more profit? So these kind of three that we do address, and these are things we do really focus on. However, what we do too here at Tuya, that's a little bit different. And we want to give you guys more revenue streams using smart. We want to empower you to build your smart business. So first of all, we want to be able to let you brand a smart solution that you've just seen as your own. So when your guests, tenants, or future clients come into the property and say, wow, this is amazing, how do I do it? We want you to deliver this to them as your solution. We really want to empower you and our goal is to push the industry forward. Additionally, we offer multiple choices such as using the app mall, using Tuya's value added services. Here, we encourage you to install a basic range of smart devices into an apartment and then using their app, tenants will be able to purchase extra smart hardware to upgrade their home. Here, the property owners can upsell smart hardware to the tenants and allow them to have their own DIY smart homes and an extra revenue stream. And then finally, which we'll run through next week is Pass. So if you have an existing platform, we're able to give you the tools to incorporate IoT for a fraction of the time and cost it would take to build in-house. So that's a real brief intro as to why we believe we should upgrade to smart and how we plan on doing it. And I think that's all the questions for today, guys. Unless there's any more that come in in the next minute or so, I just want to say thank you very much. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to you today all. And I'm really looking forward to the next one. So in the seminar that we have next week, I think we'll better answer some of your questions. It's going to be a really detailed run through of our two year residential SaaS platform and our PaaS solution. So that should answer most of your questions. But any specific questions you guys may have, or if you want to get in touch with us, please feel free. Archie's supporting us here in the chat box. So she'll provide you with the contact details, or you can feel free to contact me directly on LinkedIn as well. So guys, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you all today. And I hope we can see you all again next week. So 
I want to say thank you and goodbye, everyone.